Hi, Loman Hill Intermediate Teachers. I want to take just a moment today to show you a way to practice grammar skills and writing skills before the state assessment. On the screen, you will see my Kite Educator Portal account. You also have access to a Kite Educator Portal account at you'll this address at the top where you see educator.kite.org. And if you are unsure or need your password reset, just reach out to Mark Saylor and he can help you do that. But if we come down here, once you're in your account, I'd like you to go to interim and it says build or copy a test. And you can select your grade level and your subject, English language arts and fourth grade. And then it's going to bring up all the kite tests that you can do with your students. Please notice that the first set of tests are ELA, fiction, nonfiction, and poetry stories, but we're interested in the writing, language, and text types. So if we look here at writing in language, if I want to look at this test before I assign it, I can click here and then I can go to preview. So you will see in these set of questions that it's going to look just like the state assessment as far as directions and what students will see during the test. But if we click uh, past that screen, you're going to see some grammar questions. And these are just like the questions that they'll see on the state assessment. You'll see right here, this is a drop down question. Gia keeps thinking about the beautiful Saturday afternoon the student chooses the word. She and her family explored the state park <clears throat> and students will click on the word they wish to choose. Again, you'll see a drop down. This drop down is working on verb tenses. Will be nearing, is nearing, was nearing, were nearing, etc. So verb tenses and agreement. Which sentence uses correct grammars? This one is working on the fourth grade uh, grammar skill of order of adjectives. Here's one where they have to choose all the four words that they would capitalize, or actually two words, excuse me, and they click on those words and choose them. So then when students finish, well, you can end that test. You could assign these to students individually or you could also assign these and have uh, work on them as a class and have students go through and do these with dry erase boards. So that was the first type of question with language and writing. Now let's take a moment and let's look at the writing text types questions and see what those look like. So if I come over here back to where I had my tests, let's look at what writing text types and purposes questions might look like. So we'll preview that. Again, we'll see the directions just like the state assessment questions. And let's begin. So in these types of questions, it's really looking at the writing pieces of, um, the test. So in this one, it says Morgan is writing a report about chocolate for class. She needs to choose a word or phrase to better link her ideas. Read the paragraph from her report and choose the best word or phrase. So again, that word best is important. And then students will see that there are several connecting words and phrases and the students will choose the one that is best. So here's one. A student named um, Cato is writing a story for class. He needs to add dialogue. Read the paragraph and which sentence would you change to dialogue? Here we have one that says he's writing a report. What three details would you um, add to support the topic? Rainforest provide many benefits for humans. So you will see that within Kite, there are several types of um, tests that will help your students to practice their writing and grammar skills before the state assessment. Once I have um, chosen an item, 
I can add this and assign it to the kids and print testing tickets. But I also see that there's a print function. And so, oops, if I click on here, I can also print this assessment just like this. So this is an amazing new function that is up in Kite is the ability to print assessments. And you will see it prints them the directions, the questions, et cetera. Now, please notice that mine is highlighted because I am in preview mode. So I could print the actual test without the answers. So I just wanted to take a minute to show you a way that you could easily practice uh, writing and grammar questions for state assessment. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you with this and help getting you set with kite tests in your classroom.